Hey, good morning. Um, so Irma has just been um, announced as a Category 5. And um, as I was telling you yesterday, my back went out the other day and I'm in like crazy, crazy pain. And just in case Irma decides to come this way, I don't want to be dealing with back issues. So my mom is actually on her way to take me to the hospital because I only slept about three hours last night. So... Wish me luck and uh, hopefully it's not a big deal, whatever my issue is. So, as you know, my back is not feeling very well. I initially was going to go to the emergency room, but we found a place called MD Now. And as you may remember, this is my mother. You've seen her a lot in my videos. And I'm just feeling pretty crappy, but I'm glad I'm getting this done before the storm hits. Why do you feel crappy? What do you feel crappy about? I feel crappy about my back. And it's such bad pain, you can only sleep three hours a night, and some of those hours are spent standing up. Yeah. Uh, it's really hard to sleep standing up, actually. I'm trying to get good at it, but I'm just not a professional standing sleeper. Hey, guys. So, um, I didn't get an MI or x-rays, but I just got some like steroid shots in each tush. This is like the same exact pain as what I was feeling before I came in. And it's like worse because it's like burning on both my tushes. So this sucks. All right, so they just had like a little nurse come in, the one that gave me the shots. But let me explain something. She comes in and she says, Oh yeah, I have that too. They just singed off my nerve endings in my back. And I'm like, oh, did you find some relief? She's like, well, it worked for about a week. I mean, come on. What about a back operation? Oh, and the other thing is, there are two things I will never open up in my life. This one and that one. Because I think once you do either one of those, for life. All right, so obviously I'm just uh, staring at the television today. I did call off because of my, um, I have a bulging disc. That bulging disc is um, pushing into my sciatic nerve. And yeah, it's like crazy painful. Like most painful thing I've, I've maybe ever had. I, I actually called off work, which is like very, very rare. <laughs> Um, so, but while I'm at home uh, in pain, I am watching obviously the news trying to figure out what's going on. Now, Irma is kind of like over here somewhere and um, I live right, right there. So the thing is, everyone keeps telling me, Rebecca, get out, go, go, go. You got to get out of there. You got to get out of there. Well, here's the thing. Where? I mean, I mean, do I drive west? Uh, what if Irma decides to come over here? Well, I don't want to be over there. Oh, okay, well then, uh, just drive north. Well, what if Irma decides to go there? Well, I don't want to go there. So, I'm just sitting tight until the governor gives the um, announcement to evacuate or whatever the situation is. But, you know, we've been through a lot of hurricanes here, um, and it's... R at least in all my years, even with Wilma, I didn't have to evacuate. So you just, you know, hold down the fort and do your thing with or without power and you get through it and it looks like a disaster zone afterwards and we rebuild and, you know, we'll get through it. Um, but, like, we can't, like, freak out because we don't have a watch yet. We don't have a warning yet for, for where we live, which, again, is right here. So, I mean, yes, we have a state of an emergency, but... You know, it, it is what it is. So let's just keep watching the updates. Next update is going to be at five. This last one was like a two. So let's let's see what happens. I mean, that being said, yeah, okay, Cat 5, that's a little bit on the scary side. 185 mile hour winds, yeah, for sure, scary. But again, we don't know anything yet. Okay, so we're just a few minutes away for the five o'clock update, and I'm just getting a vibe. It's, it's not going to be as bad as everyone is saying it's going to be and I I'm thinking it's going to go out into the gulf but um we'll see what the five o'clock says so the five o'clock update just came up um and it's it, it it lowered just a little bit so it looks like it's going to make landfall around north cuba 
Um, and it does sit a little bit lower than the keys, but the keys are still going to get like a lot of stuff because it's got to go through it no matter what. But I still don't know what's going on because it's, there, there's some new little thing, a new trough getting ready to to start up something, maybe push it to the side. Who the heck knows? We're too many days away. Um, I think it has to be like 38 hours or something like that before they start, um, you know, calling watches and warnings and things like that. So we're still like too many days away to figure it out. But, you know, when your gut is telling you something's not going to happen or or whatever, I, I just have a feeling nothing's going to happen. But that could just be me and having been in Florida too long. <laughs> 